Did you know that all the items mentioned in the Leper World commercial were actually used in medieval times as medical treatments? Leprosy was, and still is, a terrible skin condition that causes severe skin sores and nerve damage. In the past, it was thought that leprosy was an outward sign of moral failure, and lepers were shunned not only for their condition, but for their supposed poor character as well. Leprosariums, operated by the church, were built to help treat those suffering from the disease. In the 12th and 13th century, France alone had over 2,000 operating leprosariums. Sufferers were often forced to wear clothing that announced their condition, these days usually thought to have been rags and bandages, and many carried a bell. Bandages could be soaked in honey, wine, or sugar to help them stick to the patients. Leeches were used for bloodletting purposes, thought to bring a balance to a person's humors, of which there were thought to be four, black bile, yellow bile, blood, and phlegm. These fluids were thought to be the basis for a person's health, personality, and even appearance. If you suffered from the plague, your friendly neighborhood plague doctor might recommend that you rub a live hen's butt against your swelling buboes. They might also have you rub yourself with a poultice made of onions, or even smear yourself with human excrement. Other so-called cures for the plague included drinking vinegar or urine. The slime of a snail was used to treat burns, and snail syrup was thought to cure sore throats, coughs, and ulcers. Maggots could be used to clean wounds, as they would devour dead flesh, while not eating anything that was still healthy.